So you live in the Boston area and you actually also work in the arts education for a museum. Yes. Uh, how often do you actually perform um, in Boston or do you travel around? I'm just wondering, the, I'm trying to get a sense of the popularity of Bharatanatyam as a dance form really uh, and what kind of audience uh, you get usually. Well, I have performed in front of school children um, from the age of two to adults um, to the age of 80, 90. But really, age is just a, a number, and I feel that the audience for Bharatanatyam has grown quite a bit, um, given the fact that Bharatanatyam has sort of become this cultural ambassador of India <laughs> to the West. And uh, there is uh, a lot of awareness um, about where it is from. A lot of work needs to be done, but the kind of audiences that I have been performing for are mostly people who are interested in visual art and performance art at the same time. They're interested in knowing about the history, they're interested in knowing about how it's connected to India as a culture. The visual culture of India is being so rich. Bharatanatyam, you know, some it can be perceived as offering everything that India has to offer. You know, you get to see the best of the poetry, you get to see the textiles, you get to see a range of movement, you get to see the history, the literature, the poetry. There's so much in it. The jewelry, um, the craftsmanship, um, you know, and, and globalization. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you put all of that together, you are really speaking to a very wide range of audiences. Um, and my personal intention as an artist is to make people aware of what Bharatanatyam really is, to delve deeper into it, mm -hmm. to let the, the glamour of it uh, peel away to some extent, and to understand it as an aesthetic art form that communicates really meaningful messages. And uh, that to me has been a very rewarding experience because I have performed for, as I have said before, for a wide range of audiences. Mm -hmm. But yes, museums, schools, universities, festivals are usually the typical um, right. audiences. Um,